Okay, we've got the second test card now set up and painted. And on each of these uh, pieces, I've again used a few colours, a silver and a rust, and then gone over it with a varnish gloss. The varnish gloss I've used is just a Tamiya acrylic gloss varnish. And if I just start up here in the top left corner with the Humbrol Rust Wash and we'll try out again just using some old brushes you can see straight away With that gloss varnish, the product is going to act differently. It's going to move around a lot more. It's going to be easier to take off as well. But I'll go in quite heavy again, just to try and get it on all surfaces. that. Okay, next is the rust streaks. Which again is much thicker than that rust wash. Get some on and then be able to remove it a bit of it later. And next is the streaking grime. Okay. So that is a heavy application, but we'll take some off a bit later. Next we'll do the brown and green camouflage. neutral grey. The uh, white and winter camouflage. I do have some enamel thinners at the side here just to help thin it out. You can see it does help the product run into all the edges and recesses. And some engine grime. the uh, winter streaking grime, which is a lot thicker. Now the sand and desert camouflage. See there, just by adding in a bit of enamel thinners, it just causes 
the wash just to start moving and spread it out. Have some engine oil. Now we'll do the black camouflage. Just in this black section here. Yeah, just a bit of uh, grey and blue camouflage down in the corner here. Okay, so that's all of those applied now. What we'll try now is going back over it with the uh, some cotton buds and a bit of the uh, enamel thinner and we'll see what it looks like. Because we've got that varnish coat you can see that the product does uh does start coming off again and your paint work below is uh, protected from any of this scrubbing that you're doing and the other option we've got is just using just a brush with the thinners on it directly and then you can actually start taking that away See by using that cotton bud, and it just leaves the stuff in the in the edges and recesses because the the rust has a texture to it. You can't really remove it. The uh, various washes they won't come off so easy. That makes sense given that it is rust. The dirt and grime would cling to it more. Yeah, there's plenty of pigment and colour there to do all sorts of little effects. It's really difficult to achieve just purely with painting alone. And in all these cases, I'm going for a particularly weathered, grimy, old, corroded look um, to suit that 40k Necromunda style. So I'm not looking to clean these up entirely, I, I want it to be slightly exaggerated.
just removing some of the excess with a brush and then just wiping on the paper towel. You can just leave behind all these really natural looking streaks. Just with the direction of the brush. Take away a bit more using the Q-tip. Like that. Okay, I think we'll let that dry as is, and then we'll uh, we'll take a look at it later. Okay, so that's the washes now dry on this second test card. This is the one where we've used the, the gloss varnish on top of the paintwork before applying the washes. So we'll just have a quick look at each of them just to see how they came out. So there's the, the Humbrol rust wash. Looks good again. The rust streaks, it's not a great test. I don't think that one's worked very well. Um, the streaking grime looks good, especially on the colours. And the yellow there is lots of nice little subtle effects happening. You can make out that gloss from the varnish though which might not be what you're after. Maybe needs a matte coat on top just to dull that down, but you'd then lose something maybe from the metallics. So it's a streaking grime, looks good in the rust. Engine grime. It's okay. Grey and blue camouflage. The white and winter camouflage. The winter streaking grime. Comes out good. And then the sand and desert camouflage on the blue. Nice how it leaves that sandy colour in the dust in the recesses. And the yellow. And there's that black camouflage stuff which probably wouldn't be much use to me. You kind know, of white wash stuff. Not really one that I would make use of. It's the neutral grey. The engine oil. That's the really glossy one. Then the brown and green camouflage which came out really nice. Looks great on the, the green section. So that's the, the whole set. And then in comparison to the first set, where we didn't use the gloss varnish to protect the paint, Hopefully you can see that difference. More muted finish on those colours compared to the one, the ones with the, the gloss coat. Where the colours are a bit more protected. But there is that gloss coming through. So I think for the stuff that I do, probably a bit easier just to go with this method. Just straight onto the, the paintwork. So I think for the, the final video in this set, we'll maybe uh, set up a little kit bash model 
and apply some of these washes to it. 